couple of months ago, I published a video called The Boxster is a Half Price 911 and It's Better, fully expecting to get quite a backlash from uh, 911 owners and Porsche aficionados. But far from being clickbait, I actually felt honestly that in many ways the Boxster is better than the 911, especially when you take price into, into account. But even without um, the huge price disparity between the two, I just found that the Boxster was a better driver's car, a better balanced driver's car. Um, something where you could approach its limits more easily than you can in the 911 and so you could enjoy it at sane speeds on real roads. So I've made this video to share um, a collection of the responses that I got from people who own 911s and own Boxsters, many of whom own both or have owned both, and what they genuinely think of the Boxster. I think you might be surprised by the comments that I've received. Before I drove a modern 911 and then this 2013 981 Boxster that I have, I held views of the Boxster which clearly now in hindsight were, were wrong. They were based on ignorance and based on the views of other people who were in a similar position to me, didn't really know what they were talking about. The Boxster really surprised me. In the past, I just thought, like a lot of people, that the Boxster was the car the Porsche bought if you couldn't afford a 911, just like a Ghost is the Rolls Royce you buy if you can't afford a Phantom. But this isn't true. So after driving both cars on exactly the same roads in very similar conditions, I came to the conclusion that the Boxster, and by virtue of that, the Cayman, are probably one of the best driver's cars on the planet and attainable, far more attainable for far more people than the 911. Also, the thing that surprised me was just how similar it sounded to the 911, being a flat six, both being flat sixes, but actually how that sound permeated the cabin um, far more easily than what it does in the 911. In the 911, it's kind of a muted howl somewhere way down the back, but in the Boxster, it's just behind you. It's right behind the driver's seat and the passenger seat. So you get that sort of oral thrill of the flat six screaming towards red line with each gear change, which kind of encourages you to work through the gears, whether it's a manual or a PDK, uh, far more often than you have to. It's, it's just such a glorious sound. And the other thing that struck me too is just how practical it is. With a decent sized boot in the front and the rear, um, it trumps the 911 in terms of practicality. Yes, with a 911, you can chuck stuff on the back seat, but as a four passenger proposition, it's severely limiting. And even my, um, at the time, 11 year old son just could not get comfortable in the back seat. So what you lose in the Boxster and Cayman the back seats you gain in practicality with two boots. Now onto what viewers of the video thought of the Boxster from their own experience. More often than not, they find themselves grabbing the keys to their Boxster or Cayman and driving that because they actually find the driving experience to be more fun. Some went as far as to say that the Boxster and Cayman are better driver's cars than the 911. So similar kind of view to what I had after driving the uh, 992 Carrera S. Many of them also said that the, the Boxster and Cayman don't get the credit that they deserve and that they should really be getting the same kind of recognition that the 911 gets. The 911's just been around longer.
So after reading and responding to most of the comments on this video, I've then gone on to watch a bunch of other videos on the 981 Boxster. And it was reassuring to see that so many motoring writers had come to the same conclusion, that after driving the six-cylinder late model Boxsters, it's now not a clear choice between Boxster Cayman and 911. In fact, many said that they just struggle now to see why they would buy a 911 when the Cayman and Boxster are so good. Now, I would still like to have a 911. Um, you might have got the impression from the video that I don't want a 911. I would love to have a 911. If for nothing else, then I just love the look of the 911. It's such a beautiful shape and I would love to have a GT3 Touring. So the thing to take away from all this, I guess, is that if you have lusted after a 911 for years, go drive a Cayman or a Boxster and you will be surprised just how brilliant they are. And maybe like me and like many others, you will decide that the 911 is a nice to have, but it is no longer a must have in order to fulfill your Porsche dream. The Cayman and Boxster can definitely fulfill that for you because on balance, they're just as good as a 911. They really are. See ya.